This is a firehouse report writing demonstration. We're going to go through writing an ENFERS incident report from start to finish. So you see here we're already at the home screen for firehouse. We've logged in. And so we go to the journal to find our incident report that we want to complete writing because CAD has already started to enter some of the information and it'll appear in the list here with all the other training activities and other incidents. So we find our chart that we want to write and we double click on it in the journal and we have our incident report starting with the basic tab. So you can see the CAD has already entered in the address and the times. Uh, if it matches to an occupancy, then it will also try to enter some of the occupancy information, such as the specific property use or the supplemental address information. So we just start filling in blanks. We have first, the re first required one is aid given or received. This is referring to mutual aid, and we either give mutual aid or we received it from another department. Mutual aid versus automatic aid. Mutual aid is units specifically requested. So if another department specifically requests Tower 26, that would be mutual aid. Automatic aid is when the other department's units come up automatically in CAD due to AVL. That can also be if our units are automatically dispatched by AVL to another department. So in this case, we can just put none, like we, most of the time. If we're doing a medical call, for instance, like we'll be doing here, usually that's none. The address is already filled out for us, so we can come down to specific property use. Most of the time with a medical call, we're just going to a one or two family dwelling. If you can remember some of the codes, you can type the codes in, in the box instead of having to go into the drop-down list. For an incident type, most medical calls we go on are going to be coded as a 321, which is just an EMS call excluding vehicle accident with injury. Next, we have our times. They're already filled in, so we don't need to do anything with those. Actions taken, again, for a medical call typically is going to be either providing BLS or providing ALS if there's a paramedic on the apparatus. Shift is easy. Supplemental address is which engine area it was in. And then the township is the map page. And you can either just type in the map page or you can scroll through the list to find the one that you want. So now the entire basic tab is done and we can move on to units and personnel. Again, CAD has entered the unit information for us. The easiest way to enter the personnel, especially if there's multiple units that have responded, is to open up where you can double click or click on the open button each unit and add the personnel from the personnel tab within that unit. The one thing to complete on the basic tab for each unit that needs to be done is the priority code or response code. So we can say priority two and I can just type two and then we can move to personnel. And the best way to do this is add group. So you can add everyone at once and just Click Staff Group Select. And then you can hold down the control key on the keyboard and scroll through and find the members that were on the apparatus that responded. And then click OK. For an activity type on an incident, it's either going to be MX for a medical call or FX for a fire call. You can click done and as a shortcut if you right click on the save button it will give you options to save and close. 
and it just does it all at once so it saves you a couple of mouse clicks. From here, response is already done for us on EMS because it automatically puts in zeros for the property and the contents value and dollar loss. The property and involvement tab, unless there's anything to do with hazardous materials or any kind of different property use, we don't usually need to worry about that on medical calls. Persons involved, usually this will have an entry in here and it's put in by CAD because it enters the reporting party. We'll come back to additional reports when we're ready to complete our patient part report. And then under the other tab, we need to add authorizations, OC, officer in charge. And here again, you can click right click on the save button and you can click save and new. And then it saves that one and brings it back here so you can enter MM for member making report. And then right click, save and close. And that part's done. Our user fields, cost recovery for this will just say no. And there is no spill. Smoke detectors, if we inspected smoke detectors, we can click yes. And then we need to select did we install any and did we install any batteries and if so how many for this we'll just click no which disables all the other fields foam use this is a medical so we don't need to enter anything in there because obviously we didn't use any foam again right click save and close the final part of the infers incident report is the incident narrative here we can save some time by clicking on auto generate. As you can see it already has Infers incident past format defaulted so we just click generate narrative. And this gives us a framework to be able to write a brief Infers report about the medical call that we went to. The Infers report should not contain any patient information because that information is confidential and the infers report is part of public domain. So for additional information, you can copy and paste from NetViewer any of the additional dispatch notes, or you can just type in a quick uh, few sentences that describe what dispatch told you or what you were told you were responding to. You can put down that it was an 88-year-old male difficulty breathing, for instance. Weather conditions, not usually very important in a medical. You can just type in NA, or you can put in the weather conditions if you want. And then first unit arrived, this is just your basically your size up or your arrival report. On a medical call, again, pretty simple. Male patient found down on floor, for instance. Everything else is pretty much done. It already says we provided advanced life support. We don't need to go into much more detail than that because we'll provide all the detail in the patient narrative. So we can click OK. That's done. And now we can move on to our patient report.